Hey, what's up, family? Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. So welcome to Keto on the Couch. With Rachel and Joe. <laughs> with Rachel and Joe. And this is a new series that we are going to start, and we're going to do this every single week. Every single week. And Forever. And basically, <laughs> what we're going to do is just kind of sit down and have a conversation, like talk about like how our week went with each other, and like, you know, challenges we had, maybe things that we're doing, not just keto related, but also like what's going on in our life. We'll go over like the foods we ate for the week. What if I don't want to talk to you? Well, right now, this is about the only time we have to talk to each other. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> so we figured that we wanted to answer questions from you guys. So we're going to ask you to ask anything you want. It doesn't have to be keto related. It could be like, what's your favorite movie? Just make comments, things like that. Either on this video, and then we'll answer them in next week's video. Yeah. Or you can do us, uh, send us a tweet or an Instagram. You is can that do you us. Send us. A, do you, you send us, do an, us Instagram? an Instagram? I don't know. But use the hashtag Keto on the Couch. Keto on the Couch. So if you do that, and then we will next week answer any questions from this week on this video and from whatever you send during the week. And that's very different than the Keto on the Bus, Keto <laughs> on the Train, Keto on the Couch. Yeah. So how was your week? It was good. It was busy. I mean, I know yours is busy too. It feels like it was a blur. Mm -hmm. We did a bunch of stuff. We, Tuesday and Wednesday, we were in Bradenton, Florida for... A conference. The Relate Conference. It was really good. It was fun. I, it was what good. I, you know what? I mean, I enjoyed the conference, but I really enjoyed... We had four hours driving together. I think it's the most amount of time that we've gotten to spend together in the last month. And it, it's nice. It's it's funny, though, from childhood, as soon as you get on, like, Alligator Alley. Right. Like, I, I all of a sudden have to go to the bathroom. If you're not from Florida, Alligator Alley is a road down in South Florida that cuts from the East Coast to the West Coast. It's about 100 miles, and there's no bathrooms so, or gas. So or... it's like it's worked into my brain, like, do, do you need to go to the bathroom? Like, because we're going on Alligator Alley, and, like, this is your last chance. This is your last chance. And so, yeah, as soon as we get on Alligator Alley, I'm like. <gasps> I, 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 I start thinking about that, like, hey, there's no bathroom, and now I have to go to the bathroom. And, of course, like, I'm drinking coffee and Zip Fizz because we're leaving early in the morning, and coffee and Zip Fizz – like, make me go to the bathroom. Like, Anthony cracks up. Like, we go to different games. What are I you was with? just thinking, like, speaking of which, what are you drinking? I'm drinking coffee. It smells really good. It's like a what butter toffee coffee. I don't okay. know. It's like Gloria Jeans with a couple of drops of the vanilla monk fruit sweetener. That stuff is really good. It is really good. And I've got, like, two drops of heavy cream in here just because I can't stand black coffee. I, on the other hand, I wanted to show you, I got this stuff yesterday at Lucky's. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Mushroom Coffee from Four Sigmatic. Well, we've bought that before. No, this is an instant coffee. Oh. It's just water and Yeah, the we powder. have the grounds one. I don't know what, what this is supposed to do. They had like different, like, wake well, up. The mushroom asleep. one is, is that with the lion's mane mushroom? No. This one has organic instant coffee powder, organic cordyceps extract, organic, organic chaga extract, and that's it. Oh. And it's just like instant coffee, and I gotta say, tastes yeah, like I know Sanka. We like the we like the. Tastes like Sanka. Coffee. Oh really? It doesn't taste. I mean, it's not like amazing, but I, I will say. I never really liked instant coffee. I feel kind of perked a little, but I don't know if that's like placebo effect. If that's just like I'm expecting something to happen, right? So, it was a dollar anyway. fifty. Okay, that sounds so bad. cheap. So anyway, back to Alligator <laughs> Alley. Yeah. As soon, so as soon as I get on Alligator Alley, I start thinking I have to go to the bathroom, and now I've got like a hundred miles to go. And right, and then you can't. You're like, don't think about it. But yeah. now, I'm, now you now, think about it even more. <laughs> I'm thinking about waterfalls and the pool and rushing rivers. Yeah, right. it's terrible. So it was a good drive over. We had a great conference. It was a little challenging to eat because at the conference they give you free food, 
Um, and tons of it. And tons of it. And I remember the first time I went to the Relate Conference. You're burning my knee. Oh, I'm, well, your knee is in my lap. Sorry. <laughs> so the first time we went to the Relate Conference, I wasn't on keto. And we just And like, they had like, I mean, they do breakfast on the first day and the second day. I mean, and it's like eggs and bacon and hash so browns. They're so hospitable. And, yeah. It's I like mean, the best hospitality. Yeah, if you are ever in the Bradenton, Florida, like Tampa area and are looking to just attend a church for the weekend Bayside. or whatever, go to Bayside Community Church. I mean, they are the most hospitable church. They're awesome. Super sweet, super nice. Yeah. Very friendly. Like everybody's awesome. From the parking team, you're yeah. like, and they I have like stay in the parking lot. Incredible, like coffee and desserts. But the first time I went, I mean, I went through ate all of that stuff. And then I remember when I went the next year, and I was on keto. We were like, and I well, you had you weren't even on it yet. You, had, I think that was your in. venture into it, but not quite into it. Was like I can't eat anything. And I remember being able to thinking like I was able to walk past the hash brown potatoes and be like, doesn't even bother me because hash brown potatoes were always like my very favorite thing. Yeah. So I mean, on when, on the second day they did have a nice breakfast spread and they had some good eggs and bacon. We were able to eat that. But I remember for dinner, I ate a lot of. Bacon. They had a really good dinner, but nothing that we could really eat. It was like meatloaf yeah. and like so we ended up not eating dinner. So we didn't really eat that whole day, except for we had some keto, uh, p- some pizza keto brick and stuff. And then we got to we went to the Chipotle. hotel and went to the Chipotle. Yeah. So we went to Chipotle and just had like a bowl with like lettuce and. Like double good. meat, little hint on Chipotle, by the way, if you want a bunch of extra meat, but don't yeah. want to pay for it, what you do is you do, you split your meats. You say, I like want half chicken and half beef or half chicken and half pork because they can't really do a half a scoop. Yeah. So you end up with like one and a half scoops of meat, but you're only paying for one scoop. We're so sneaky. There's always a hack. At There's restaurant. always a hack. So that was good. Then we ate breakfast there. Then we came home. And what did we eat for two on Tuesday? That was Wednesday night. Oh, we... We have to kind of get out of the habit, but we been, we went to Win Dixie because Win Dixie has wings. It's like ten dollars to They're fill so a bucket. Good. It's just so convenient. Yeah. So why that is it was, bad? It's not that it's bad, but it's it's not. I'm not cooking it myself, so, so I'm know. not quite sure of everything. I mean, we're getting like the like non breaded with just some hot sauce on it, but mm-hmm. I like cooking everything myself because I know exactly what's in it. Do you feel like that's dirty keto? Mm, yeah, maybe a little bit, but so that was Tuesday. Then what did we have? That was Wednesday. Then Thursday. Oh, I made like Rachel, like open face, no bread, Rachel sandwiches. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I bought, was like Rachel. Yeah. Well, yes. I bought pastrami mm-hmm. and then we covered it with sauerkraut and we used the primal kitchen thousand Island dressing. It, was it been worked. A, it's been a quick week. Because I've had games like I came home, I had no games Tuesday, no games Wednesday because we were gone and then had like had to cut grass all day Tuesday, all, all day Thursday, and then two lacrosse games. So we didn't eat dinner until like 9.30 at night. So, But that was, that Rachel was really good it with was, the, the Primal Kitchen Thousand Island Dressing. pleasantly surprised. Covered it in set Thousand Island Dressing. And we didn't have any Swiss cheese, so we put cheddar cheese all over it. Which didn't hurt my feelings because I'm not a big Swiss cheese fan. I love Swiss cheese. Yeah. And then Friday, we made... A lasagna. It came out so which good. Which we have a video coming out, and I got the. It's not my idea at all, so I'm gonna. It's say it in the video too for how to make it, but um, eighty keto. Aaron on eighty keto has been talking about this thing for a couple of weeks, and it's basically where instead of using like pasta noodles for your lasagna, and like we all use like zucchini or right. something like that. Which works fine. Yeah. Well, this one is you. It's they. I think the original one was called the protein lasagna, where you take a layer of deli meat mm-hmm. and put it in, and then he kind of like went and tracked it back. I'll leave a link to his video on it up here. Um, but basically, it's like a layer of deli meat, a layer of cheese, a layer of deli meat, and so it was crazy. I started researching it because it was like such a great idea. I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds like awesome. And I mentioned it, it to re- Anthony. That turkey really felt like it started, it took on in my brain like a pasta. pasta. Like I thought he was kidding when I saw him talking about it in some of his other videos. I'm like, okay, I gotta try it. And I started researching it and I mentioned it to Anthony who's like a huge foodie and Anthony's like, that sounds fire. <laughs> It was like MacGyver. We're so we did change it. I researched like a lot. I found a lot of different people who have made it. And I know AD Keto is trying to find the originator of it. So it was my idea to use it. But I came up with my own version. 
and we used like I used like turkey and I used a red sauce and I used pepperoni. I can't imagine it being better. It I, literally and the next day it was I mean even we better. ate it, we ate it again on Saturday. And it was like true lasagna. It was like you true can't True lasagna count. needs to sit in. I'm telling you no no person that you gave that to would know that it's not a pasta noodle. Like, I'm That's shocked. weird. Yeah. So we have that video out. coming out. Yeah. It's good. I can't imagine a better recipe. I mean, yeah. I know I'm biased because it's you, but Yeah, like, even though the video's not out, by the time this video goes out, the, the recipe should be on our website. Like, I've uploaded I just have to add the picture. It has pepperoni in it. I think anybody that's just like no spice at all, maybe you would omit that. You can use any kind of lunch meat you want. I, I chose to use pepperoni, but I like spice and Me I too. wanted to try something different. But I was trying to. So I did like a layer of turkey, a layer of cheese, a layer of pepperoni, and then your meats and all that stuff. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate. Is there any weakness to it? Only if. They're it's, not a spicy person. Yeah, but again, it's not you, like can terrible use, you can use double turkey, double chicken. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So that was that. And then, yeah, we ate that again last night because it was so good. It was really good. So any challenges this week? Any challenges this week? I think just like the schedule, trying to fit everything into the Our week. Our schedule has been hectic. And, and keeping up with laundry. It's like you go on vacation and you have games and you have to have uniforms. And so like you just have to be constantly doing laundry. I feel like I've Laundry been... and dishes. I kind of thought as our kids got older that would get easier. It's, it it seems to be worse. We had so much laundry at the beginning of the week. I thought I'm going to tie a rope around my waist. It's still piled all in. like folded over there. We, we've gotten it cleaned. We've gotten it folded. We just haven't gotten it put away. It's... I thought I'm going to tie a rope around my waist and I'm going in because I may not come out. At least somebody could pull on the other end of that rope and like get me out of it. Right. It was terrible. I really, I don't know why I thought this. I was really thinking like we're going to go away for two days. We're going to come home and our two boys are going to be so awesome the house is going to be immaculate. You're so cute. The grass is going to be mowed. The grass was mowed. The grass was mowed. I will give them that. The dishes, there'll be no dishes, right? The laundry will be all folded, put away. Like the house is going to be... You know The what? same dishes that were in the sink when we left on Tuesday morning were still there when we got home on Thursday. They cooked their own food, cleaned the dishes that they cooked with, but left the stuff that we left in there Tuesday morning. Okay, so here's the thing. You're a product of the 80s. You've seen weird science. 80s. Well, I'm born in 1970. I understand, but like, do you remember the 70s very much? Yes, I do. Okay, well. The later part of the 70s. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> so, the 80s have like weird science, mm -hmm. and all of those movies where like, once the parents are away or turn their back, the kids like, totally wreck the house, so we didn't come home to that at least. At least my kids didn't do risky business. Exactly. Like, do you guys remember, I don't know if you guys, like, have you ever seen the movie Risky Business with Tom Cruise? They like, didn't. They didn't They didn't, they didn't start a call girl. <laughs> call ring. girl service in the house. Yeah. So. Yeah. So like, oh, I'm no, fine. Honestly, I'll do the dishes. Honestly, Anthony and Caleb are really good kids. And we do have a third, but you know, he is an adult and moved out. So. Yes. So. So we have Anthony and Caleb. They are really good kids, but high hopes that I would come home to everything being perfect. But. Would you? But they're actually really busy too. Would you I mean, clean Anthony your is, parents' house if they went away? I think I did. Baloney. I did. I do remember doing that. Terry, your sister watches these videos, so she's going to call bologna sandwich on I that. seem to remember us cleaning a little bit. Oh, but honestly, our parents didn't go away a lot, like, without us. We did a lot of We don't vacations. either. Yeah, we don't either. Really, the only time we go away is when we go away on, for like, like, a on a conference. We don't go away, period. So we're done for the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of movies, anything interesting you've been watching this week? Well, we recently watched that Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, we watched Bohemian Rhapsody. And I it was really liked awesome. That movie. I, it was, that was so movie. good. Like, he did, deserved to win the Oscar. Yes, he, he did. absolutely deserved to win it. I mean, we just watched it. It was good. I was, I, I always have loved Queen's music. I grew up with Queen, so but, I was really interested in the movie. And I'm always sort of suspect of, um, like, uh, I want to say biology. It's not 
biographies mm -hmm. because it's like you weren't there so you don't know like how true to form is it but the feeling I got from watching that movie was boy every single member of that band was brilliant yeah. in their own right and like we really ha I always thought it was just him but it was really the whole band that was amazing, amazing. and talented and then we watched A Star is Born yeah, that was a good movie. The fourth remake of the movie. A true... Of course, I was watching it, and I've seen every version except for where I think it's the 1936 or 1939 version. It's the only version I haven't seen. I've watched so none of I them. know like what's going to happen in the movie. I mean, they all end differently, but they, they all end with the same ending, but in a different fashion. So Rachel comes in, and I'm like, "Hey, we're going to watch this," and we start watching it. And like 15 minutes in, she's like, "He's going to die, isn't he?" Sorry, spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> so, and I'm like, um, because Rachel is one of these people. Like, we watch Korean dramas, and love she Korean will. Dramas. Before I get mad at her because you know, if you know anything about Korean dramas, Korean dramas are like 15, 16, 24 episodes. They don't do like multi-year TV shows in Korea. Yeah, For I'm the sure most they part, do, but... not not as much though. So what they do is they do like a 16 or 24 episode TV show. It runs like three times a week for like three months and then it's gone. It's like a 17 hour movie. It's like a 17 year old, a 17 year old, 17 hour long Hallmark movie. Yeah. They're really good. But what she'll do is when I'm not around, she'll go and watch the very last episode first because she's like, I'm not investing 17 hours if it's not going to be a happy Into, ending. If it's not a happy ending. And I'm like, you know the ending. Now I don't want to watch it. Well, here's Joe. Joe is like, hey, it's date night. Let's watch The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Or like Schindler's List. Love that movie. I I, mean, I love that movie too. But like that is not like a date night movie. His is like, it's, it's always like a very tear jerking, like... So, sad, emotional movie. I'm an emotional person. I know, but I can't. I can't take it. Like, I don't want to, like, be romantic and be, like, sobbing. It's like, let's watch Sophie's Choice. No. You know? Not into that movie. So I'm, like, bawling. <laughs> bawling. So now I'm like, I can't do anything. I can't even function. I just want to cry. So. I want to watch, I mean, I'll, I'll do an action movie, romantic comedy. Like, I'll watch Rambo. I'm My problem is I like to binge watch shows and I'm completely out of shows to binge watch right now. There is like nothing. Any, can you guys recommend anything good to binge watch like down below? I'm in the middle of the Umbrella Academy on Netflix and it's actually really good. Really? But I'm in the middle of it. I haven't. Yeah, like, I can't. I'm not starting a show in the middle. And I've given and up. Finally, after all of these years, I've given up on Walking Dead. Like, I may actually have a show that I don't see the end to. The last couple episodes have been just horrible. I was in love with like, Glenn. Like, legitimately in love with him. Like, I was waiting for the phone call and be like, bye, Joe. It's me and Glenn. But. Yeah, but you quit when you thought he When died. I thought. He was gonna die. I couldn't. When I couldn't and, do it. and if you if you're a Walking Dead fan, in the episode where Glenn goes under the dumpster and you think he's dead and you don't find out till the next year that he's not dead, she quit. She quit watching it, and that's what Rachel does. We watch these shows. She gets like three quarters of the way through. I get too invested in she, the characters. She stops watching it, and then in the final season, with like three episodes to go, when I'm trying to finish up it. She comes back in and goes like, okay, I'm going to watch it with you. Now I have to spend like the entire episode, like every three seconds Who's pausing it, explaining to her what she's what missed on with four seasons line? worth of the show. Can you resolve, like, I have a question. Like, yeah. I don't, how, is there any series that you have watched beginning to end with me? No, because I was thinking Sons of Anarchy, but I, I did pause on that one too. Yep, and you paused on Breaking Bad. So, like, you watched, like, the first two seasons and then came back and watched the, the last half of the last season. But you know what? We both finished at the same time. So, like, so there you go. So I'm looking for a new show to binge watch. Although I don't have a lot of time to binge watch. My binge watching, lately, we've been so busy. 
I cannot go to sleep without the TV on, which is another whole issue in my life. That's not really healthy. It's not really good. But I need some kind of, I can't just like jump in bed and go to sleep. I just, I need to kind of wind it down. And so now it's taking me like seven days to watch a 30 minute episode of a (laughs) show. Because like I keep, I nod off and I'm done. And then we have to rewind it. And then we have to rewind it. Where did you fall asleep at is the conversation. I don't know. Where did you fall asleep at? I know. It's bad. Do we have any questions? Yep. Before we get into any question, we have, I know we have some comments. We're going to read some comments off of the thing. What about products? Are there, is there anything new that you're excited oh, about? Oh, yeah. I put some over here. What do you got? Oh, we got all this stuff from like... Oh, my goodness. I can't even lift this thing. We had it in... Oh, the, oh your salt. Well, I got this for Rachel. <laughs> Rachel loves baths. I do. I'm a big bath person. That that was a big selling point on our house was um, having a big giant room. I remember tub. when we when we bought when we were looking for a house, we made this whole list. I literally don't care. Well, if, that was it would be nice. It's closet size. No, we made this whole list of like what our house has to have and what it would be nice to have. And we had like has to have four bedrooms. It would be nice if I can have an office. Like, right? It would be nice if it would have a pool. I remember you mean it would be nice if it would have a giant tub. It had to have a tub, but giant tub. Yeah. We learned our lesson though in in that, right? Yeah, because when we we made our list and then we prayed about it, and the one thing that we said on the list was like we don't care about the flooring because I can I can do any kind of handyman work. So we were like, okay, Lord, like whatever the floor is, we'll deal with it. I remember saying like, I don't care if it has 1970s shag carpeting. We wish it had that. So we walk into this house and it had every single thing on our list. It was like a country decor, country wood walls, the tub she wanted, a, an, a room that had been converted into like an office. Well, it was, they converted into a dining room. They added on, mm-hmm. made it a dining room. I made it an office, four bedrooms, Everything except pool, everything we wanted, down to the floors. Was like, oh, you don't care what floor you get? Black okay. and white, checkerboard, peel and stick linoleum through the whole house. And they must have got this peel and stick from like the Dollar Tree because I would go to vacuum. And it would come up. up. So we learned our lesson. Pray, pray, and and you be will specific be specific when you ask God for something because He will give you exactly what you ask for. So, but you know what? I kind of love that because I love to laugh. I love a sense of humor, and God has a sense of humor. Yeah, that was He funny. really does, right? Because that was hysterical. So, so anyway, so, so we anyway, have a tub salt, and this salt stuff. Now, it's gonna. It is. It's like legit salt. Like, it is ancient mineral salt. It is mineral salt. So it's not going to look like the Epsom, is that right? Epsom salt? Yeah. Um, Where it looks all pretty in your bathtub. It looks like... You can open it up. When it's when you're done with the bath, you have to you really have to kind of clean of, it You out. have to rinse out the bathtub because it's like literally like salt. And gross. so you can, I don't know, I'm it's not like, going to, I don't want to spill it, but you can see how like it's got like... It's the red. The clay is still in it. And it turns your bathtub bottom like kind of a brown. But it was, yeah, so it's got but like it the clay. Feels but it doesn't so make it, it's like good. just rinses out. It just, yeah. like, it oh, doesn't yeah. completely. It doesn't um, like stain your bathtub. It doesn't completely dissolve, but it made it like super it's soft. It's super, like it just makes it feel really soft. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get to absorb all the minerals. So we got, I got that for her. Okay, so then. Now, I recently did a vlog, which should be out before we put this one out, right? Uh, I don't know what the timing is. Okay. Yet. We got, we have natural toothpaste that's with this, like, clay. Well, that's what I'm excited about. I look like a hillbilly because <laughs> when you brush your teeth with that stuff. Well, that's the kind, that's only one kind. It works great. Yeah, so. But it looks hysterical. We had, we would mentioned before. We've been looking for like a more or natural toothpaste. So we started getting this. This Jason. Jason, isn't it? I don't know how to use it's this. It's called I'm calling it Jason. That's what we that's what we've been using because it was like on a great deal at Whole Foods. It was marked from like seven thirty five to four dollars. So we bought a couple tubes of that. And it's really good. But we got this thing from Redmond Rail Salt. I didn't even know they had all this stuff. Yeah, they had the salt for your bath. 
and then we got these samples of earth paste and there's literally like five ingredients like this one here is peppermint so there's no fluoride in which i'm excited about the no yeah. fluoride i don't want the fluoride but the ingredients are literally like purified water clay this one's got charcoal in it because that'll help like to um whiten your teeth xylitol and then oils it it tastes good and it does its job but when you are brushing your teeth you yeah. look like it's making like the situation this one is worse. like lemon so we got these different ones and they, they're like a paste and then i also got this it's called earth powder because you know instead of using the paste where you're paying for water with with a toothpaste this is one of those powders where you dip your toothbrush in it and then you get it wet and you dip it in but it's got activated charcoal in it it, it just so like you're you're brushing your teeth with dirt but it tastes really good the only thing good. that i would say like i am definitely this is what we're going to start using for our toothpaste now mm -hmm. i mean we have like a couple tubes of this left but i'm going to get some of this when we're done with it because I love the ingredients. There's literally like five ingredients. There's no chemicals, but it's a little weird when you first start. I'll leave a link for it down in the description because it's hidden on Red, Redmond's website. Like you go to Redmond yeah. Real Salt and it's like hidden, but it doesn't foam. So no. you're so used to like buying toothpaste like, and My toothpaste it foams, is broken. It doesn't foam at all, but you feel your teeth are so much cleaner because it's using like salt and clay to clean yeah. your teeth. But it's really weird at first because it doesn't foam. And it looks terrible. <laughs> well, I, that's only the, the only the charcoal one looks terrible. The other one. Oh, I haven't, don't. I haven't tried Lemon Twist yet. Yeah, the other, it's just, they have a peppermint with charcoal and a peppermint without charcoal. The I charcoal, like charcoal lemon the charcoal is a whitening. Well, and then I haven't used this yet, but this is from Redmond too. And it's like a facial mask. Yeah. I think you should do a video on that. I think everybody wants to see you in a video with a mask on we need to look worse no you look awesome I will speaking look of looking awesome you are banned from getting a haircut why well, i love my haircut i like your haircut but every time you say i'm gonna go just get it cleaned up and trimmed it cut you come home shorter soon you're gonna look like sinead o'connor i was gonna say i'm gonna look like you you know how they say like couples. I, my that hair are, may be longer than yours right now. I haven't uh, shaved in two days. You know how like they say couples start to look alike. <laughs> Maybe we'll look alike. I'll grow a beard. Hey, you know, before we move on to our questions, though, um, we're at thirty minutes. We want to kind of we're we figured these will be a little bit longer because we're just gonna have a conversation with you guys. But when we got that, I did get one of these. I'm gonna open it. But this is a sample of everything we just talked about that we got. So we have in here, there's one of those clay masks, which I don't know if there's enough for one or two. It says here you add one part of the clay to two parts water. You could probably even get two facials out of that. Do it with a friend because, you know, once you open this stuff, yeah. it's like. Here's a sample packet of the bath salt. Nice. Okay. Then there is two cinnamon Earth paste, I found there was, there was enough in here to do it, brush your teeth twice. That's what I found. I mean, because you yes. used the tear, right? Yeah. So there's enough in here to brush your teeth twice in each pack. There's two of the peppermint with just, the charcoal. It just sounds funny. Like, once you brush your teeth twice, Well, they're just sample done, packs. I done. like the fact that they have this so that before just, you want to try it, just it first, right? It sounds funny. Like, brush your teeth twice. There's two of the peppermint without the charcoal. And then there's two lemon twists. Oh, and there's also another one of these... A salt. The salt thing. Which I love. So you want to give it away? Yes. So we'll give this away to somebody. So, so comment on the video. Comment down below. If you comment on the video, everybody that comments, we... Uh, no, no, no. I know what. What? If they comment, I want hillbilly teeth. <laughs> then you're... How about anybody that comments? Of course, everybody's going to write, I want hillbilly teeth. I want to see that. You sound bad. I want some okay. hillbilly teeth. So... If you if you write that, how about if you write if you comment on that, you get two entries. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes, two entries. For two anybody. entries to anybody who writes. I want hillbilly teeth. I want tea. hillbilly teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and if but anybody who comments, we'll give this away and we'll give it away on the next keto on the couch video. Awesome. Okay, um, we have to add one rule in, and um, that is you can only win if you live in the United States. Yeah. Okay, because we did have a winner. Awesome. Jesus Freak won the uh, oh, Peely, Peely Nuts. Nuts. 
and they didn't think about it, I didn't think about it, but it's expensive yeah. to ship to like other countries. So, so we, we, it was actually cheaper for us to- paying for it. It was cheaper for us to order something from Peely Nuts and just mail well, it Well, no, I her. ended up just sending her the, the Peely Nuts. Oh, okay. But yeah, so you have to win, you, to, to win, you have to be living in the United in States. In the continental I'm sorry. United States. We actually have somebody, a subscriber who lives in Australia. How cool that is, is that? That is really awesome. So, that is awesome. So we'll give that away. So, okay. So we only have a few things because we haven't mentioned we were going to do this. Yeah. So I just was, I kind of went down our, some of our videos and found out some kind of funny comments. So Gail actually wrote, my mouth waters every time I watch these ice cream reviews. My mouth waters every time I watch an ice cream Why video. do you think we bought this ice cream? Because we saw somebody else talk about it. And it's like, I want it. It's, you know what it, what, it's the Costco effect. Yes. You, know, you go and you get like samples and you're like, I want that. I need it. Yes. I am looking for right now. So there is, if any of you guys have ever researched keto ice cream and you have Facebook, I guarantee you have the same issue. Constantly in my Facebook stream is advertisements for Wink frozen desserts, which is a vegan a ice cream. Okay? Yeah. And I think it's like a hundred calories for the pint or some ridiculous thing. And they, they really are trying to market to... Um, low carb people because it's super low in carb. How low? I'm if I remember right, like on the same as these, like only a couple of carbs. For the but pint? it's like low fat. Obviously, yeah. it's not a keto thing, but I want to try it because I don't know. I'm. Is it bad that I want to try it to make sure it's like really not good? Yes, because it's, it's bad. Low You're fat? bad. You're a bad person. <laughs> but I mean, I always like trying new different things. So. I was looking on their website and they said that there was a couple of stores in our area that actually carry it. And I went into this. It's kind of weird, right? I'm a keto person. We pretty much eat like 90% carnivore and I'm going into a vegan was restaurant. Was it a Ron Swanson experience? It really was. Remember so like, when Ron Swanson goes and he's watching the people like put granola in a I'm thing? looking through the freezer section and they have like no meat hot dogs, no meat chicken tenders. And I'm like... Why can't you just, why do we have to call it a no meat hot dog? It's not a hot dog. Yeah. Like, well, I, but anyway, so I'm right. looking for this ice cream. Now I'm going to find another place that has it, but I do want to try it. But yeah, we buy, we, we started these keto ice, trying these different keto ice creams because our mouth was watering when people like 80 keto were doing reviews of them. I love it. So. They're, they're, they're really good. Because they're full fat. Yes. So they're super like creamy. It's become our only dessert on Fridays. Because like, it's I have just, all these great dessert recipes and like you're like, I want ice cream. It's so full of flavor because yeah. of all the fat. Yep. Okay, so Tamsin Darlin. I love Tamsin yeah. Darlin. Yeah. Actually asked two questions about the keto bricks on the keto brick. Yeah. Okay, so she asked what is the cost of the keto bricks? First, we don't make keto bricks. Um, we buy them. And uh, they come from a guy named Keto, keto Savage. Savage. And um, him and his fiance, who are getting married next month, so I'm super excited for them. For them. They awesome. um, they make the keto bricks. Keto Savage actually created the keto brick for himself. He's a natural bodybuilder on so keto, is she. and so is she. And so he did it for himself, and then like people wanted them, so he started selling them. And it's been really cool to watch their company grow from like when I first started purchasing them, and you literally got lucky he was making like 200 in like a month and now it's like they're still selling out when he's got 10,000 or whatever ridiculous figure they're he like with. gorgeous people like is it, I, I shouldn't rush them but like aren't they gonna make the prettiest babies they are so <laughs> so anyway so we don't we don't make them we buy them but I can tell you I don't remember how much a single brick is I want to say it's $16 don't buy a single brick because what it is is you're paying for priority mail shipping yeah they have to ship so it whatever it's so you can get one brick. I think it was sixteen dollars. I don't remember the top of my head, but a week supply is fifty dollars, and a two week supply is ninety dollars. So you get seven dollars, seven bricks for fifty dollars, or fourteen for ninety dollars, and there are a thousand calories in a brick. So and we're not like affiliates of him or anything, nope. but like I, I seriously Just love them. I would have some in your house. Yeah, they're really good. So I'm excited because they launched a new flavor today. The day we're filming this, they launched a new What's flavor. What's the flavor? I don't even know if I want to tell you. I want to kind of surprise you in the video. But I've got a bunch of them coming. Oh, good. And they're three carbs lower than the other ones. And they have no cacao nibs. Do you want to know what flavor it yes, is? Yes, I do. Coconut cream. <gasps> 
Yeah. I bet those are going to be awesome. Talk about being like so tired and like so much going on. So they launched today at 12 o'clock. I didn't even get to tell you this. And so I launched today at 12 o'clock. So I set, because we're in church, right? So I set an alarm on my phone Aww. or a little reminder thing to that for an event to, okay, let me know so that I, at five minutes four, because if you know anything about Keto Bricks, like you have five, 10, 15 minutes it sells out so to quick. get online and buy it. So... I set it for 11 o'clock for some reason thinking Arkansas is an hour ahead of us. And it's time change day. Well, no, Arkansas is an hour behind us. And so like at 11 o'clock, at, at 11.10, I'm like, I miss them. I go online, it says sold out. I'm like, I miss them. I can't believe it. I started sending an email to like Keto Savage. Like, Please. if you have any extra, I want to review this one. And I realized, oh, they're an hour behind us. Like, that's just, I'm normally not this dumb. I'm just like overdone. Yeah. So, Church really so yeah, so she wanted to know how much they cost. That's how much they cost. Okay. And there was also, she asked like, like what the ingredients are, but I don't remember the exact question. So I apologize. I forgot to write it down. Are you going to list the ingredients? No, but they're all natural ingredients. They're great ingredients. Go look at some of the other videos or Keto Savage's website. I'll put a thing down below. Rhonda M. Love Rhonda. I love Rhonda. Ask. She said, this was on the Keto Brick. She said, great demo. I haven't tried them yet. And I think there's, this is a better method than just biting into them. Yeah. The yeah. big brick, like it's great, but you lose a I'm, bunch. I, you lose a bunch and not so much even that you lose a bunch. I can't keep track of it and they're so good. You take a bite. Oh, just one more bite. And next thing you know, you've eaten I've half eaten the, whole the brick. brick, right? Not half. The so whole she thing. asked if they say solid at room temperature when you travel. They do. Um, we keep them, I keep them on my shelf and yeah. I keep the house at like 76 to 78 degrees. Quiet. So we keep the house at 76 to 78 it's degrees. Hot. It's not too hot. There's <laughs> some ladies out there. You, y'all know, like, I, I'm, I mean, it's I'm like. It's 72 degrees at night. That's when it matters. We're not even home during the day. But yeah, they don't melt. We put them, I'll, I'll put them in the refrigerator only because like once I melt them down, I store it in the refrigerator. Because then it takes a little bit longer to eat. Yeah. Yeah. But they are shelf stable. We travel with them, no problem. Uh, I wouldn't leave, don't leave them in a hundred degree car. Yeah. Like then they'll start melting. But they're still good. They'll just melt. They just. But not like a chocolate bar. Take the form of a bag. Yep. Gail wrote, (laughs) Rachel, you don't even need makeup. Aww. A little, um, at most, a little mascara and a nude lip. You're awesome. If you are uncomfortable sans makeup and your hair is fine, your cat is so funny. My cat hates water. This was on our oh, vlog last week. Oh, from when she was eating. My cat hates water. I really wish I could just do a keto coffee fast for a day. Man, I, I feel like one day I need to do that too. Just a like, keto coffee fast? Oh, I, oh I, I'm, I didn't hear the keto in my brain. A coffee fast. We haven't done a fast in a while. It's time for a fast. Yeah. Probably, yeah. but like, yeah, that the, uh, a coffee fast, I feel like when I think you need to do a fast from coffee. That's what I'm saying. That's oh, what I'm okay. saying. Well, I you're didn't... saying a coffee fast. I'm thinking like I you're only going to drink coffee. Oh. That would be easy for you. Yeah, that'd be easy. But like the, yeah, to get rid of coffee for a day, like, I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> I, I drink coffee for, for your safety. <laughs> okay. So. But yeah, that's the one thing about keto. Um, but I love that I can go all day. My I learned from doing the officiating and not having a chance to eat later on that my eating during the day is just a habit or out of boredom. If I'm busy, I am never hungry. I can go. I just did it again yesterday. Yeah. I can go all day and not eat until I sit down and I'm like, now what do I do? Now I'm bored. Right. I want to eat. So it's funny how it is. It's. But I'm not physically hungry. No, it's it's, it's funny mental. how it, mental eating is. Yep. MJ Hawk, same same video said, "Have you tried a count fountain for Roscoe?" That's too smart. One of our cats Why decided she only wanted to fountain? drink from running water and drove me batty until I bought one. I need to get one of those. I don't know. Our animals are weird. I mean, he doesn't use, he won't use a litter box. He only goes outside to go to the bathroom and only at night, which is kind of awesome. I mean, you never have to change a litter box with him, but he will only go at night. 
He won't. He'll go all day. He'll he, stay in the house all day, and then he sits at the door at a certain time to cry, to go out, to go to the bathroom, and yeah. then come back in. And then when he comes back in, he brings Rachel dead mice. He's a hunter. I and appreciate have, the. I appreciate that they say that it's the thought that counts when it comes to gifts. I wish he'd stop thinking of me. <laughs> next week we'll tell the funny story about how he dropped one on your head. Not today. The video's already long. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Then we have another cat that has to rub on every corner she walks past. That's. She would Charity, probably like, die if you put her in a circular room. Yeah, because when she walks in the room, every corner on the couch, on the wall, on a chair, she has to rub up against she everyone. She loves corners. Yeah. And then she forgets what she saw two minutes ago. Like, there's a dog in here. Oh, my gosh. And She's, she runs out. And then she comes back in 30 seconds later. Oh, my gosh. There's a dog in here. If she was a boy, we would have named her 10 Second Tom <laughs> from 50 First Dates. Yes. She's 10 Second Tom. Okay, Tamsin wrote again. Oh, on the on that same video. That video got a lot of comments. It's the yikes, hot, 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 still smiling. Her her emojis are are. Adorable. I have no idea how to use emojis. I love emojis. You go champs. I love officiating. I really love officiating, especially lacrosse. People see people ask me like, "What do you like lacrosse or football better?" I like lacrosse because of the people. It's such a good community. And like every, and it's great though, even as an official, like people, like you'll have coaches yell at you and like get on you about like you missed a call or something like that. And right after the game, it's like, you want to go have a beer? Like they're like, it's just an awesome community. And so I love it. I love helping the kids. I love being able to talk to kids about like, Hey, this is what you're doing wrong. This is how you get better. I just like a little piece of advice out there that we've talked about. Like our, our children weren't super athletic, but if your child is athletic, a lot of times the parents try to go like, hey, I want like scholarships for my kids for college. And they go only the football route or only the baseball route. Lacrosse. Consider lacrosse. Especially here in Florida. It's like oh the fastest goodness. growing floor, sport in Florida. There, and there's so many like scholarships out there. Yeah, for yeah the kids. you may not make money like going pro, but you no. can get a good college But if you're just trying to get into college. Yes. So. Yeah. Two more. Uh, Vivijay says... That's a cool name. Joe always reminds me of someone I've seen before. It finally dawned on me. The sophisticated caveman from the Geico commercial. Uh, actually, that's pretty cool. But the... You know who... Most people say I look like Goldberg, Goldberg. from wrestling. In fact, one time somebody asked for an, um, an autograph. autograph. I thought I was Goldberg. And you signed it. <laughs> that is worth nothing. That a signature. <laughs> that's so bad. And then Michelle Bacher on the one on um, our electrolyte said she gets heart palpitations. Increase your salt. Try increasing your salt. Heart palpitations are normally from... That is so scary. Yeah, it is definitely scary. And I can tell you when I first started keto, I started keto like in an off season of sports. And then when I started do when I got into sports like a month later with uh, lacrosse, I would like bend down to like put the ball down for a face off and then I would get up too quickly and, and I would dizzy. get like lightheaded and dizzy and I started research. It scared me. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to go off a of keto and I started researching and um, what most of the consensus was that it was low blood pressure because you lose so many electrolytes. Oh wow. And so to increase your salt and I started increasing my salt and all of that has gone away. But it's really cool. The longer you do keto, the more in tune you get with your body. Cause like I'll get like a muscle twitch. Muscle twitch is usually like magnesium or potassium. Like I'll just be sitting and I'll see like my muscle twitching, yeah. like especially my calves. And so you get so in tune with your body. You're like, that's what I need. I need some potassium. I, I need some sodium. Can I just say that? I love that. I felt like before keto, I really did feel very out of control. I was not in tune with my body at all. Everything was like, a guess and it was like you know oh I think I need an aspirin oh I think I need a leave oh I think I need like you know some sort of uh su you know any kind of like supplement or vitamin or something because I it, I just always felt like I was guessing about what was going on with my body yeah so I I do feel like way more in tune and that it's is a really nice awesome. side effect. But, you know, just as a disclaimer, we are not doctors. Nope. And um, if you do feel like something's going on serious, check it out. But check it out. It can't hurt. If you're getting, like, classic keto symptoms, almost always it's related to Try that first. your electrolytes. Yeah. Sodium, potassium, magnesium. Yeah. 
So, and then we also last thing I, I didn't write them down. There were a lot of a lot of people commented on Tabitha chewing. Yes, and that kennel her. We actually do have a kennel. We do put her in the kennel ninety percent of the time on Sundays. She's always was in the kennel, and we thought she would. I mean, she really is a great dog. She she's is. just a big dog. She is. You know, I she had a Labrador when my kids were is. little, but when we first got married, I had a Labrador, and she Angel. passed away. And so we're like, Lab, you know, Lab's 75, 80 pounds. We got a female. She's a year old and she weighs over 100 pounds. She's huge. And she's not fat. She, like, no. literally, she only literally on eats keto. two cups of food a day total. One cup in the morning. What do we, morning. it's Origin? Origin. No. Yeah. Is that Origin? Yeah. Origin is yeah. what we feed her. But, like, literally, two cups is like 3,800 calories. So she's just this massive dog. So. Yeah, we do kennel her, and now it's back into yeah. She's like we don't kennel her at night. We let her. She we close our door. She sleeps on under our bed, or she sneaks in the bed with us. It's always pleasant when a hundred oh pound dog gosh. sneaks into bed with you. I'm gonna <laughs> sneak in. But yeah, so we have to, we are going back to like yep. I'm sorry if we leave the house, you have to get kenneled. You know, usually somebody is home because we have such a bizarre yeah. schedule. But um, and she loves her crate. But it's just weird. She. 10 minutes. Yep. What she can do in 10 minutes. Like, I think I'm productive. Literally, I mean, she can I, don't get know, some I don't know where she's done. got them all over the house, but we ended up having to go to Antlers for her to chew on because anything else, they're like, this is the indestructible dog toy. No, it ain't. Give her an hour. Yeah. So the only thing that she really can't destroy is the deer antlers. And even those, like, she has whittled them down to nothing. It's amazing, though. Those things are... That is cool. If you look, want a good dog, they're expensive. I'll leave a link to one it, down. But it's worth it because it really does last a while. I mean, it lasts her like over a month. And that is like for a dog that loves to just nibble on stuff. You, I mean, she drags branches and everything. And then yeah, she's got her stuffed animals. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. This was your mistake. She is worse than a toddler. You, We gave her stuffed animals when we got her. She and now her me a thing little bit. She's because like a this was a killer. free Nelly's chicken. Like if you buy Nelly's eggs, oh, yeah. um, you get like you can send away for free stuff. So they send me this free chicken, and the first thing that she does is eat the, the eyeballs, eyeballs out. out. So. What is up with that? Every stuffed animal has the eyeballs chewed out. It's really it's very bizarre behavior. Like she she immediately goes for that. But I mean, like I catch him because I don't want her swallowing them and eating eyeballs. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end our video. So we are sorry it's a little bit long. We'll, yeah. If, but it, it, let us know if you want them long, if you want them short. We figured just that's a conversation. <laughs> we figured we'll just have conversations. I'll try to edit it down a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I'm not a big fan of like a ton of jump edits and stuff like that. So I'd rather let it be natural for you guys. You're like all slouchy. But I've had a problem let us, with my posture lately. Let us know what you guys want to see in these. If you like these kind of videos for us, we're, we're going to put them out like once a week. Ask us questions down below or on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag keto on the couch. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're over 400. We're over 400. I'm like I, so excited. I mean, I know it's such, a, it's a small number, but like, I, know, I, didn't think number. We'd, I didn't think we'd have a hundred people watching us. It is not a small number. Like I'm so excited. I went so into a excited. store the other day and a stranger came up to me and was like, hey, hey too crazy, crazy keto. That was like the coolest thing ever. So, so, all right. So, uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you will be and alerted to again, it. Again, we are uploading a new video every Friday, but we really are shooting for at least every other day. Yeah. And when we get to 500 subscribers, we're, we're already putting together like a box of just some of our favorite a stuff. A box of crazy. Keto bars. There's probably going to be a keto brick in there. So. Yum, yum, yum. So. And if it comes in time, maybe one of the new ones. Maybe. It'll be a guess. All right. Tell it.